Um, well, we were we did a lot of uh, by, the, by the time you know we were late in college. There was uh, we did a lot more performing around, and there was an agency that took notice and saw that we had you know we would fill a market in colleges and and, and theaters. Um, so that that was our initial foot in the door. But our the reason we really got noticed since we've. Uh, become a professional venture is because we keep things fun. Uh, we're very active, a lot more like fun, uh, upbeat than a lot of other groups that you'll see. We, we we focus yes on singing, but mostly on the experience that the audience has. Like we want everybody to have a uh, really fun time. Sometimes we'll be, we'll be gone as I, I think our longest tour was uh, seven weeks, um, but but uh, sometimes we just you know have a gig across town in the Twin Cities, and so we can just come come home that afternoon. It really depends. Um, typically we're gone, you know. Uh, during our heyday, we, I mean, we're still in our heyday, but during when we were really starting to, starting to get out there and do a lot of shows, we did around 200 a year, and now I think we're about 150, 175, so we still, plus travel time, we're on the road an awful lot. But uh, we love doing what we do and, and performing for all sorts of people all across the country. Um, furthest we've ever been, I guess technically that would be the tip of Florida, um, but we've, we've been to all four quarters. We've actually, in 2015, we marked off our 48th state. Uh, to perform in. So we haven't been to Alaska and Hawaii yet, but you name it, we've been there. I mean, yeah, actually, uh, Presque Isle, Maine, I think is uh, the, the it is it is actually the northernmost, um, I think it's one of the most, it's one of the eastern and northernmost cities in the country, which is really far away from where we are, but so, yeah, Presque Isle, Maine, I think. Thank you.